Hey, my name is Frank. Today we are going to talk about Python Polas, a lightning fast data frame library. What you'll learn in this tutorial? You'll learn what is Polas and why choosing Polas. You'll get started with Polar data frames. You'll hands on Polar contacts and expressions. You'll take a look at what is lazy frames. You'll scan through data with lazy frames. You integrate Polars with external data sources. Also, you'll integrate Polars with the Python ecosystem. Now, let's begin. What and why using Polars? Polar is a Python library that is used for data processing. As you might know, Python is very good at data processing and data analysis and data visualization. A library called Pandas is used quite often in this scenario, and Polars is very similar to Pandas, as we will see in the later chapter. But compared to Pandas, Polars is very fast and due to the fact that it is written uh, in Rust, so it is very memory efficient. This is very useful as when you're doing working on different kinds of operations on Pandas, you basically face the memory issue that might bring in uh, when using Pandas. And it comes with intuitive APIs very similar to Pandas, which means you can use something like Slack, Groupby, etc. And Polar is built on Apache Arrow as a query engine. In this tutorial, we'll not go too deep in what is Apache Arrow. For now, we just need to know that Apache Arrow is a columnar data query engine. Basically, when you query data, you will query it in a manner of columnar, which makes it much faster. And there are a bunch of other cool features that Polus brings in. Now let's start installing Polus. Now let's create a directory called uh, Polar Tutorial. In this directory, let's open it with code, uh, VS Code. And then open up the terminal. Let's check the Python version at the beginning. We are currently in 3.10.13. So, any Python library that's, that is above 3.7 is okay. Now let's go ahead. Typing in Python dash M install polars. This will install uh, polars for us. Let's just type into uh, Python repo to check if our polars library installed correctly. Okay, no errors. Now we are okay to go.